Hello everyone, it's your girl JLBeauty87 here aka Grace and today I figured we get into my Sephora recommendations video since um, we're almost at the end of March and like it's almost time for the sale. I figured I would give you like an overview of the stuff that um, I usually recommend for you to get or like newer things that are out that I think you should get. So let's get started. Um, I have complexion and then I have um, like lip glosses and of course I will do the eyeshadow palettes last because you know that's probably what I'm going to have the most of and I actually feel like I don't have that much stuff so hopefully this won't take that long. Okay so I'm going to start off with foundation. So I was loving this foundation like I like the original one better and I still said that and I still mean that one but um, this is what I have to show you so you can either get this one or the original both of them are exceptional foundations and I definitely think this will be the time to get them now get them now while they're on sale because I think this is 50 bucks and that's not cheap especially in the economy we're in now 50 bucks is not cheap for a foundation especially when I found a drugstore one for like 11 bucks but um this one is great and I recommend that you get it during the sale it gave nice coverage it still made your skin look like skin but it was like that radiant glow from within type skin but it didn't stay like that on me because, of course, since I have oily combination skin, I had to put powder on top of it. But, you know, it's still a great product and I still recommend that you get it. And what better time to get it during the sale. But I prefer the Synchro Skin um, self-refreshing one better just because of the skin type that I have. The next one I have is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So I wear the shade 11.75. And Oh, by the way, in the um, Shiseido one, I wear the shade 510 Suede. But, yeah, and this one I wear 11.75. This foundation looks amazing on the skin. I feel like I always just look gorgeous whenever I put this foundation on. And then you set it with a nice powder that matches your skin tone, and it just looks amazing. Like, it looks like your skin bit better every single time I do it. That's what it looks like. So, I definitely recommend you get your hands on this, especially since it's $64. And, you know, that 20% will help you out a lot, sis. It'll help you out a lot. I really, really like this product. I would use it more often if I could because it's $64. I'm like, I just can't bring myself to do it. Because I would. this would be like my everyday foundation, believe it or not. One of them anyway. Like this one and then like the $11 drugstore one I told y'all about. And then the Rare Beauty one. Those would be like my go-tos. So I do recommend the Rare Beauty foundation. I did not bring it with me. So I can't say for sure. But I do recommend that you get that one during the sale too. And it's not like it's so highly priced. It's just more of, you know, since you're going to get a discount, so you might as well get even better discount on a reasonable priced item. And it'll make you feel better. I know it makes me feel better. So, <laughs> last thing I have to talk about when it comes to complexion, at least when it comes to like foundations and concealers, is this Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Concealer. I have the shade Tan 330. That's actually what's underneath my eyes right now. This concealer is amazing. Like, oh my gosh, y'all. From the first time I have used it, I always love the way my concealer looks when I use this concealer underneath my eyes. I feel like my face always looks highlighted and amazing. It doesn't matter what powder I have on, I feel like this just looks exceptional. I think I really like the coloring of this um, concealer and that's why I like it so much because even if I don't necessarily put a yellow like based powder underneath the eyes, I can put like more of a beigey one underneath the eyes and I still feel like it looks nice or I can put a translucent one underneath there and it still looks nice. I just feel like this concealer just looks really nice underneath the skin and it gives such a brightness and wonderful effect to the under eye that I'm just obsessed and you need to get it during the sale because this thing is not cheap especially for the size it is it's just outrageous I swear I, I, I love it but it's it costs entirely too much and they need to cut it okay cut it now I'm gonna get into some powders so I'm gonna start off with some classic well I'm gonna start off with the classic one the Pat McGrath skin fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the shade Deep. I don't know if the yellow one's going to come to Sephora by the time the sale starts, but I have the shade Deep, and this powder is absolutely stunning. I wore it underneath my eyes yesterday in the video you all are going to see on the new, um, another one of these new powders I'm about to show you. But this stuff is amazing. Uh, mine is broken or else I would open it so you could see, but like the dome broke on it because it's so sensitive. It is a gorgeous powder, and I can't wait to get the yellow one myself. I ordered it from her website, but if it comes to Sephora and the yellow, you definitely need to get your hands on a sis, because this blurs underneath your eyes like no other. This stuff is amazing. I like to set it on all the places where I highlighted my face, in addition to underneath my eyes, because it just gives such a beautiful blurring effect, and it makes your skin look just immaculate honey immaculate. So the next one I have to talk about is the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting Sorry, baked setting and smoothing powder. I have the shade Velvety. So they have, um, I think six shades of this. 
and this is the fourth or fifth shade i think this is the second to last shade but this powder is so smooth and amazing on the skin like it feels like you don't have anything on your face like they say cloud setting yes this feels like nothing is on your face yet it sets and it makes it look really nice and um airbrushed and matte and keeps the makeup locked in place it is just a beautiful powder and it feels like you're picking up nothing on the thing so i um, on the brush so don't get carried away and get crazy pick up too much on the brush because honey you'll end up using way much more powder than you thought you were going to but it is a beautiful powder and um we'll be talking about it in the complexion corner next i believe coming next week next powder i have to talk about is the one that's on my face right now this is the backstage dior backstage face and body powder no powder setting a powder sorry the perfecting translucent powder natural radiant blur finish all day powder so i have the shade six in if anyone cares i'm wearing the matching foundation to this the dior face and body in six in so this is what it looks like on the inside as you can see i have rubbed away some of the writing because i've been using this powder for like the last two days and i've done my makeup like three times with this powder so i'm going to do it one more time tomorrow just to get an idea how i feel about it and then we'll do the complexion corner with this and that other dior i mean that other um powder i showed you all the um coast house one in addition to a couple of other powders but this powder is amazing and you need to get your hands on it i'll try to remember to link these things above i don't know when this um um, Sephora recommendation video is going up. I'm hoping it goes up on Friday. So that way if I have to um, add any other things to the video that I won't forget and they'll be seen. But yeah, that stuff is absolutely amazing and I love it. So the next one I have is another one that's on my face. So I figure I'll talk about all the ones on my face and then I can direct you to the other videos of the stuff that isn't on my face. But yeah, I have on the Tatcha, the Silk Powder. That's what's underneath my eyes and all the places I highlighted my face with that gorgeous Marc Jacobs concealer. This is what it looks like. It had a little plastic sifter on the inside of it so that the powder wouldn't fly around everywhere. And this is the color of the powder. See, it's a nice little golden radiant beige-ish type powder. So it's not like a bright, bright yellow. But it's not that really pale yellow that people call banana that I don't like. So this is a really nice color of powder. And it looks just like silk underneath the eyes. Like I have it underneath my eyes now. I think it looks gorgeous. I feel like laundry eye looks very nice and radiant. And looks like I'm glowing from within. It is a beautiful, gorgeous product that I feel like you definitely definitely need to get your hands on that stuff is amazing and you need to get it during the sale because i think that cost me like 54 dollars. i was one of the first people to get the review up i think i was like the third person to have a review up on that powder so if you want to check it out i'll try to remember to put it up there but that y'all that powder is just i it's that powder okay so the next one i have is the dark deep powder from one size now i know people have been like kind of dragging patrick star i brought my little one here to leave in my grandmother's house this is the ultimate setting powder and i got the one that was my skin tone because i already have his matte collection where it wasn't my skin tone it was like a translucent one they put underneath the eyes but it worked underneath my eyes and still gave me that nice covering i like but this is what the color of the dark deep looks like i think it's a gorgeous powder i think it works just as nice as the powder he came out with with mac and i think it's beautiful on the face like i feel like it blends into my face so well i spray my um face with setting spray just to press the powder in and it just gives a gorgeous effect on the skin and makes your makeup last quite a long time so i recommend that you try out that powder during the sale as well because i think it's like 39 dollars. i think i might be over exaggerating i don't know don't quote me and you should get it a deal so the last powder i have to talk about is the beauty blender bounce powder so i have the shade i have two different shades so i have the shade chocolate which is the darkest shade because i bought the darkest shade because i wasn't sure because y'all know when they came out with the foundation they was looking a little sus so i was like i'm gonna just get the darkest one just be safe that won't be perfect for me in the summertime but for right now i think the shade nutmeg will work a little better so i ended up ordering the shade nutmeg although i feel like it's giving me like a little orangey nutmeg type shade into it although this is lighter than the um nutmeg powder but i haven't tried this one out i plan on trying this one out tomorrow but i can guarantee that the shade chocolate is really nice on the skin i did a whole review on it i'll try to remember and link it up there again but it's a gorgeous powder it has a gorgeous finish to it it kind of gives you it's like a tinted version of the um touch of the silk powder in my opinion that's the vibe it gives me just based upon having um used the shade chocolate it's a great powder. I mean, I know they screwed up their complexion to start off with, but they, you know, they fixed it and worked it out with that. So that's good. Let me see. Y'all still feel me while I'm talking? Yes, you are. Okay, so we will edit that lovely part out. Okay, so on to the next thing. So I have um, blushes and bronzers. I don't have too many. I mean, I have blushes and highlighters. I actually don't have a bronzer to talk about because I talked about the Charlotte Tilbury one before. And I figured I didn't need to talk about it again. And 
I'm not that impressed with the Gucci bronzer. I like the Kosas bronzer, but I'm trying not to talk about things I've talked about a lot, even though I still find myself talking about a couple of things. Like, I feel like I talked about Giorgio Luminous Silk before, and I know I've talked about the Patrick's um, Ta Double Tape Cream and Powder Blushes, but they're just so amazing. I feel like I need to talk about them again. But I was good. I didn't talk about his lipsticks again, like his bullets and his um, liquid lipsticks again. I was good. But this is the shade She's So LA. So I'm using this one right now, of course, because it's winter time. This is the only time I can use it. But it's a gorgeous shade. I think it looks really nice on the skin. The shade, I prefer, um, I think it's a peachy shade that he has and like a corally shade. Corally orange peachy shade he has better. But this is the shade I had here to show you. So I figured I would show you this one for people who like like a more neutral blush. This would be good for you. Again, this is the color She's So LA. All the shades look really pretty and really nice. And I think I own like every shade he has except for the one that's like super light because obviously it doesn't work for me. I have his original powder ones as well. I think I have four of like the five or six that he made just because they're so great. Like I had to have all of them. So his powder products are amazing and you need to try them out i just want to know where he went like patrick honey where are you he came out with like the glow face thing for christmas and then he just disappeared and then come back and i was like patrick honey i need you to come back i need you to make me some stuff like i need i want him to make some highlighters i think it'd be wonderful if he made like some powder highlighters that didn't accentuate like the um texture on your skin too much and he came up with some beautiful colors i feel like that would be so great but I don't know what's going on with Patrick, but I need Patrick to come back. So, the next thing I had to talk about is the Pat McGrath highlighter. Now, not this highlighter. I mean the new one she came out with in the Rose Collection. I love that one. The new one she came out in the Divine Rose 2 Collection. Not this one. I'm just showing you this one so I can have a representation to show you of the Pat McGrath highlighters. I wouldn't recommend this one unless you have a lighter skin tone. If you have a lighter skin tone, this will work for you. But I feel like if you're my skin tone, it's entirely too ashy. But the packaging on this is exceptional. Look at this. Like It's called Champagne Gold, but... If I swatch this YouTube what I'm talking about, like, it's quite ashy on the skin. Like, to me, this is, um... Okay, y'all, so I have returned. Um, I got cut off on the Pat McGrath highlighter. So, um, I, like I was saying, you should get the new Pat McGrath highlighter. Not this one. Now, if you're not my skin tone, you're tan or lighter, I feel like this one will work better for you. But for me, this is just a little too icy on the face. So, it's a no-go for Sister Girl right here. No, no, no. But, um, the other one that she just came out with, with the, Ro with the Divine Rose 2 collection, that highlighter is bomb. It's banging. The formula is really nice. And the color of it is amazing. So, you should get your hands on that one. Because to me, that one's personally more universal. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, we're going to get into some, some, oh crap, I forgot to put my primer in the front so it was so small so that's why i didn't notice it but of course it's the tatcha the liquid silk canvas this stuff is amazing honey if you don't get your hands on it it feels like a liquid version of the balm and you all know how smooth and nice and soft that went into the skin so just imagine it in a liquid it's a million times better than the um balm but i really like either one i just prefer to use a liquid just because that's what i'm accustomed to but this stuff is amazing you need to get your hands on a honey child it's amazing get it get it get it the next things I have to talk about are setting sprays. So I hate to mention this brand and the setting spray. But the setting spray is actually that good. Kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury one. I want to test them side by side to confirm before I like put that claim out there. But this is the professional super setter setting spray this stuff feels really nice on skin it instantly mattifies when you spray it on your face and i do feel like it blurs the pores and that's something that the um charlotte tilbury one does for sure that i remember that it blurs the pores so i'm gonna do a battle of them we're gonna test it out to see how it goes but um this one is cheaper than the charlotte tilbury one if i remember correctly don't quote me but if i'm pretty sure that this one is cheaper than that one this is the sample size but they have one that's like 15 bucks for one ounce and then they have a four ounce bar i believe it's 32 or 34 dollars so um i would definitely say Check this out and get it during the sale. Even if you just get the sample and try it out, it'll still be 20% off the $15, which to me is a good deal. So try out this setting spray. I think it's really nice. And then the other one I have is one I've recommended before. But again, I told y'all, I just, you know, um, if it's something I really like, I try to um, recommend it as often as possible. So this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip grip set and refreshing spray now i haven't been using this that often just because y'all know i'm trying to project paint some other stuff so that's why i haven't been using it it's not that i don't love it i've been project painting so that's why we ain't get it done but yeah um this is what it looks like on the inside um my um, battery's about to die on the camera y'all so i'm trying to hurry up and get through this part i'm gonna have to film the eyeshadow part a little bit later and then i'll just edit these onto the computer while i wait and do some instagram videos but anyway um this spray is amazing and you should get your hands on it it does grip to the makeup really nice on your face and holds it in place really nicely like it claims to do. So I feel like it does the majority of what it claims to do. Which is why I am recommending it to you. Again, there's a video on it of course. Because the video is on just about everything. So I'll try to remember to put it up there. The most recent video is the professional one. And the Dior um, setting powder though. 
Okay, so let's get into some lips really quick. So I have the Kirsten Dominique um, lip liner here. I have the shade Brown Sugar. It's the Creamy Feel and Define Lip Liner. Like I said, my shade is Brown Sugar. This is darkest one she had for my skin tone. I think it's really nice. As you can see, I have used quite a bit. Look up in there, child. All of it's gone, like, just about. I only have that much left. That's how much I like it. So I will be adding one to my cart for the Sephora sale since Dominique Cosmetics is sold at um, Sephora. And I need it. And the next thing I have to um, talk about is like the lip combo I have on right now. So I have on Artist Couture in the shade X-Rated. Now, I don't know if these colors have come to Sephora yet because his shipments have been coming late to Sephora. Because I know the palette that he had just come out was supposed to come to Sephora on the same day that it launched on his website. And I still haven't seen it up there. But his glosses are amazing. I like the shade X-Rated, which is the one I have on. I like the shade called Thirst Trap. It's really nice and pinky. You all saw it on my lips in the picture for the um, Profusion Foundation review. And then I like one he has called... Um, what uncensored 2.0 so those are the three i have from him and every single shade i have from him i love his formula is nice it's nice and opaque it's great colors and you need it the next thing i have is gucci lipstick now the gucci lipstick is underneath this artist couture lip gloss situation we got going on so i have the shade susan beige sorry this is penny beige and this is what the color looks like. As you can see, I kind of got a concealer. Your lips will better. Their lipsticks are pretty nice. It's just they're really high. And since I have so many other lipsticks, like I reach for the, um, a lot of black on brand lipsticks, which is why I don't really use it that often. But I won't deny that the formula is nice. It's just when Proper Beauty and Minty Cosmetics and the Uma Beauty and, you know, Juvie's Place have all these lipsticks out. I try to reach for those and, you know, support my people as opposed to buying Gucci. But since the Gucci going to be on sale, you know, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and get the Gucci then. I'm not going to tell you to buy the Gucci at regular price. Bad on sale. Okay. So, um, the other two brands I have are black on. They're both the same brand. This is Fenty Beauty. So, the liquid lipsticks are amazing. We all know this. Her, um... Regular lipsticks are really nice too. The ones that are always on the clearance rack. So you might want to grab some of those too. But most of the shades are gone. So I don't know if they're being discontinued or what happens. This is one of the holiday shades. It's called Unmatched. Um, I prefer the shades Unattached, Unbuttoned. Um, and there's it's one other one. I think it's called Unveiled. Those are like the more nudie shades that I feel like you would like better. But I just wanted to show you the um, what you were looking for and what the product looked like. It's in this applicator. And then there's these. I forgot what these are called. Um, the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. This is the shade Glazed. Uh, everybody likes the shade Makeup Break. I like Makeup Break better too, but this was more and more pinky mauve shade, so I figured I would get both because we know I love me a good mauve moment, but I do like Makeup Break like everyone else. But the formula on these is pretty nice, and I guess I'll go ahead and give an honorable mention to the Pat McGrath ones that are similar. This is the Pat McGrath Lip Finish Divinity lip shine this is the shade nude venus of course it's the nude pinky shade but the formula is really nice my only thing is this is half the size of her full size lipsticks but i think it's like the exact same price where it might be two dollars more so that's why it's an honorable mention not necessarily that you should go out and buy it. the formula is nice but you can probably find on her website for like 25 percent off during her sale so um if you want to get it sephora that's fine but you can always wait and get it from her website it'll be cheaper last lip product i have to try talk about is tower 28 i didn't want to talk about the gloss bombs again because i feel like i always talk about the gloss bombs so i was like we're gonna talk about this tower 28 gloss instead this stuff is amazing i have the shade cashew here in my grandmother's house but i also have the shade almond at home and then i think i have like a clear one at home and then i have like some colorful ones here for when i want to put them on top of my liquid lipsticks or my um colorful lipsticks that i feel like don't give me a gloss that are like you know the matte finish so this stuff is amazing you need to get it but now on to the eyeshadow palettes new eyes who this no okay so um i had to film a video in between this while i let the battery charge so we're finally gonna get into the palettes now so the palettes i have to talk about the pat mcgrath quads the new one that just came out um what is it um interstellar icon definitely get that one not this one this one actually is on sale on her website right now because this is the least popular of the ones she came out during holiday but i would definitely recommend that you get these little quads like interstellar icon is one of my personal favorites and then the um rose risque or sorry risque rose but i know everybody's tired of the rose thing so that's why i didn't really want to mention it but it is the one that's made in italy italy which i feel like is the best formula so that's why i'm mentioning but yeah definitely get these little quads while they're on sale on um Sephora's um, site, even though she had a 25% off sale recently, but I don't know if it was just on sale items or if it was like her whole website was 25% off, but I recommend those quads for sure if you missed that sale. The next one I have is the Viseart Dark Edit Palette. Now, don't get it wrong. 
all of these little mini palettes are not the same as the big ones. I don't care what anybody says. I respectfully disagree. They are not the same as the bigger ones. However, this one comes really close and is better equipped than the bigger ones. But they just had a 40% off sale on their website. So you might want to go ahead and grab it there instead. But I still figured I'd mention it here just in case that sale has already ended when you see this video. But I would definitely recommend this one. And then they have the Violet. I think I have it here. Hold on a second. Let me go back. The new one. As you saw, it's a little bit bigger than this one. But oh my God, look at these purples. Like I can't wait to compare this to the Menage when I have come in the mail the flight club because they look very similar I'm wondering if they're gonna like be the same quality or if this one's gonna be better or they're gonna be equal or what's going on but I would definitely recommend you get your hands on this palette as well just because look at how gorgeous it is if you're a purple lover like myself it's a palette that you need to have in your arsenal I promise you so the next one I have is from Rare Beauty now I would say get confident energy I'm just showing you this one because this is one I have here this is magnetic spirit it's not the formula's bad on this I just prefer the color story of um, what is it? Confident, um, energy. This is what magnetic sphere looks like though. The formula of these are actually quite good and the, um, color stories are actually pretty nice. And for 25 bucks and you can get an extra 20% off, which would make it like 20 bucks. I definitely think you should check it out. Now, I don't know if this palette is going to be there or not. I just said this in another video. This is the Artist Couture Ethereal Bloom palette. I don't know if this is going to um, be in stock by the time the sale comes. Just like his lip gloss. I'm not sure. Do not quote me. It was supposed to be there um, when it launched on his website. And it wasn't. So I just bought it off his website. But this is what it looks like. I got 10% off when I bought it on his website. So it ended up being the same price as the palette with like free shipping or whatnot when I got another discount. But this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous little palette. If you like pastels and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on pastels, like I know he who should not be mentioned just decided they're coming out with a pastel dreams palette based upon a bundle that I had got from them over the summertime. But if you don't want to spend that kind of money and you know you're not going to use pastels that often, I feel like this is a great deal because with that 20% off, that'll make it what, like maybe $22 or something like that. $22 is way easier to spend than $54 on palettes you know you're hardly ever going to touch. So I would definitely recommend trying this one out over that. Plus the formula is just as nice as the... um supreme news and we all know like everyone raves about the supreme news so the formula is the same it just has lighter colors but please keep in mind that those colors are deceiving in the pan they they tend to oxidize and go darker on the skin which is good for someone who's my skin tone but not necessarily if you were looking for it to be the true color in the pan so just keep that in mind i have a video on it i'll try to remember to link it i have a whole bunch of videos on just about everything we're talking about so i mean are we surprised? No, I feel like you're not. Um, the next one I have to talk about is the Makeup by Mario Master Metallics. Now, I really like this palette. I know a lot of people weren't that impressed with this, but this just reminds me of the Decadence palette by Pat McGrath. So you don't want to pay the $125 for Pat McGrath. I feel like this is a good alternative. I did swatches on Instagram comparing this one to the Decadence palette, and it had a few similar tones in it that I felt like made it about the same it didn't have obviously the glittery formula that she has this one is a little bit different but they're both made in italy they both have really nice color stories and i definitely think that this is a good palette to add to your collection because you can have like you know your singles that you buy from indie brands and you can have like your nice shimmer palette and then when you go on vacation you take, take your nice little matte shimmer palette with you that's made in italy with all of the nice finishes in it and then you have your singles that you took that you bought from ColourPop or that you bought from Sydney Gray so you bought from some other people and then you have like a nice little collection of stuff to take with you on vacation plus um I think it's a great palette and it's at a great discount and that's why I left it here because I have decadence at home but when I want that decadence experience and I don't want to have to drag palettes around like I have to do the film I definitely recommend it for that well, for someone like me. But for you, like for vacation, I would definitely recommend it. Or if you're just one who likes to put one shimmer on the lid and go, it could be a great palette for that purpose. Because you can put your bronze in the crease like Mel Thompson always talks about. Put one of those shades on the lid and you're done with the eye look. And it looks great and um, beautiful. And you didn't have to put that much work in it. And, you know, it was still an easy formula to deal with if you're in a rush. The next palette I have is the Latte 2 palette from Kirsten Dominique. Now, I'm not recommending this palette. I'm recommending palettes from this brand in general. I really love Kirsten's brand. I would recommend you get the original Latte palette. I'll show you what this one looks like, though. Um, I like, I always like that she puts pops of colors in her neutral palette. So now I just stuck with a neutral palette. Like, I love this shade right here, Blonde Rose. And, of course, you know I like these other two colors. This one, to me, isn't really that big a deal. But palettes are designed to be used for your face and your eyes as well so this is supposed to be like that Linda Hallberg type vibe where you can use it all over your face and your eyes so that's why I feel like her palettes are great value the latte one and the latte two especially because you can use these shades as highlighters you can use these as blushes or bronzers and for your eyebrows this can be your blush this can be your pop of color in your inner corner or lower lash line this could be your um 
like lid shade or something um i feel like it's a great value especially since she explained that you can use it all over your face so that's why i recommend latte one or latte two depending on what your skin tone is and what your preference is when it comes to the pops of colors because i like the pops of colors in the first one better and i like the first palette just a little bit better because of the shade she chose and the fact that you are supposed to be able to use it all over your face there's a nice yellow shade in there and all that i wish i had it here with me but i don't but i definitely recommend person's palettes my favorite ones are celestial storm Berries and Cream, and the original Latte palette. Like, if I had to pick from her palettes, those were the three I would recommend just off bat. They don't make the Lemonade one anymore, although it had really nice shimmer shades in it. And I don't think they make Rustic Glam anymore, so you can't get those. But those other three I recommend, you should definitely try them out. Um, the next ones I have are, the new, are a couple of new Natasha Denota palettes. And this is actually it, y'all. So, I have the... Um, trio chrome or trio chrome whichever way you like to call it palette now i recommend this for someone who um is of a lighter skin tone and knows that they like these particular shades of eyeshadows because if you don't then i don't know if i necessarily recommend this because just because you have three nice trio chromes you can just buy her liquid um chromium shadows and they have one that's the same color as this they have one that's similar to kinetic i own and then i think they have one that's closest to this shade i forgot what it's called but she has shades already similar to these in liquids that's only 26 dollars a piece and you don't have to pay 129 dollars for the palette just to get those three so um it just depends on what you like if you like pastel -y type colors and you want that extra trio chrome and you're not good with liquid shadows and maybe you would like this better but i would still recommend you get an indie brand i just want to showcase this one because i do really like the formula on it and i do like the color story of it and since i already have it i figured i could recommend it to you but i usually use this with mel thompson's palette like i don't just use it on its own just because i don't feel like this color story necessarily works for people of my skin tone but you know it looks nice or whatever but yeah i'm not going to say I 100% recommend it, but if you want to try it out, obviously during the sale would be the best time to get it. Now, I do recommend this Circle Local palette. I have done about five looks with this in the last two days. I did looks combining this with the um, Club Nebula palette from um, Angeshka and Kaleidos. And then um, I want to do some looks with this combined with the Trio Chrome. Actually, I did use a couple of Trio Chrome shades on top of some of the um, shimmers in here just to give that extra pop and flip to them. So this is a great palette. I definitely recommend you get it during the sale, but make sure it's in your cart and make sure you VIP and make sure you set an alarm for like, I think it's 12 o'clock or 2 a.m. when they start letting you buy stuff. Because if you don't, honey, I'm afraid you're not going to get it. And then you're going to be mad. But don't get mad at me because I'm telling you now. Put it in the cart, sis. Make sure it's in there. Make sure everything is in your cart that you want to have. And hopefully you're not a YouTuber like me who has to make sure that they don't, um have to buy other things and they have to keep restocking your cart because that's what happens with me since i don't get pr at all whenever some new thing comes out that i want to try to make sure that i get up for you all in a timely fashion i have to just bite the bullet and delete my cart and then start all over again five six seven fifteen times over so it's frustrating in that retrospect but since you don't have these problems make sure the cart is stocked with that palette if you want it sis i'm telling you now but anyway those are my recommendations from the sephora vib sale so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i'll catch you guys in the next one